Well, every video I do seems to be a seems to start with a walk from the house down to the barn to go find something interesting to do on the farm. Well, it's five o'clock. I just finished with work. I'm coming down to the barn to help Karen and Josh, who is our sheep shearer, because it is sheep shearing time. And sheep shearing time is exciting because that means well, we get all the wool for making bedding or yarn or roving or all the other stuff that we sell. But also it means that lambing is coming in usually a month or less. So the spring is just around the corner. We're out of the 30 below season and, and uh, baby lambs and everything on the farm is kind of, you know, we look forward to that all year. So. Let's go see the shearing. Already hear the shearer going. The sheep shearers don't waste a lot of time. There we go. Start with the rams. Hi. Hi. We're already on the first one? Yep. Yeah. Getting started. Awesome. So what's the process? Well, you gotta put the hook up and uh Grab, grab a sheep out and, and shave them, and then we stick their uh, fleece in a bag that has their name on it. And why do you put their names on them? So that when I send them out for processing, they have, I know who's is who's. Because they're, it's all processed in small batch, so we get their yarn and everything back with who it, who it came from. So, because it's kind of fun for both us and the customers. Because they get to know which sheep they're yarn actually came from. Yeah. And we're also trying some cross breeding with a new ram of a different breed. And so we want to know the difference between that wool and uh, the wool of just our regular tunis, right? Yeah. Cool. And so this is what, a year and a half waiting for from buying a ram to actually seeing the wool that comes comes out of the breeding associated with it. So he bred last year, but we didn't get we didn't get lambs out of him until the spring, and then those lambs will have their first shearing right now. Cool. How's everybody doing? Don't worry, it'll be all over, no problem, real soon. Well, I wrangled these two idiots out of there. They're starting to get real, real uh, pushy. We'll just let them get their differences out, out here. Let the, stick the dogs on them. Not really, but there's no room for an argument inside there with the ewes, so we'll leave them be. One of the things I like about shearing is that you get to see what kind of condition the sheep have on them. It's hard to tell when they have all their wool. You can, there's like ways you can feel to see if their hip bones are covered or not and stuff like that, but Ours always look real good, which means we're buying good hay. Good hay, that's right. I feel like there should be a play-by-play -play for this. With an accent. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and a beautiful move. Right, he gets the wool right off the top. Nice move off to the side. He's ready for the backside. Done with the loins. And it's time for up the stretch. You know, I talked with Team Fitzgerald this year, and they say it's going to be a good shearing season. <laughs> Lovely. They got some new equipment. Running the Henningers. They're running fine. Here's where he does the long stretches. Yes, here we go. This is where he really makes up time on turn four. He's coming down the stretch. <laughs> He's up in the head up position again. Lovely. Just a lovely, lovely shearing to watch. The professionalism as he transitions to the reverse headlock. Here it comes. Oh, executed perfectly. The crowd goes wild. Next up we have Lucy. You're thinking twins? She's huge. She's a tank. You shouldn't talk about a lady like that, but wow, <laughs> she is great with lamb. She is, great. She is massive. Yeah. You think triplets? No. No? Just twins? Yeah. Look at the size of her.
Oh, there's just a sorry looking crew after this. <laughs> what did we do to you? We ate all your hay. <laughs> <laughs>